Hello, everybody who joined online and offline of this global prayer chain. We pray for Ultimate Global Peace of 2027. And we are doing the most hard work ever that even no army could do it. We pray to God to mobilize heavenly world to help this world uh, finish all these end days of uh, the evil world and the sin. And uh, let's go, as this week we have uh, to pray for peace and empowerment. Let's pray, let's go with the message and coming words. Two quotes for inspiration. True love is to give and give again infinitely. It is the natural heart of uh, forgetting the fact that we have given. Giving unconditionally is certainly the most natural and precious thing. Where there is true love, the human original mind responds and the human conscience wants to stay. So powerful quote for today. Let's go with pray chain. Uh, yeah, I must say, uh, usually you have a uh, difficult to the sound, but uh, Maybe someday you could pray too. <laughs> okay, please join my prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Parents, we are so happy to meet you alive here. We pray for ultimate global peace by uh, 2027 and for peace in Eastern Europe. There is uh, so big concern as their people are dying there, um, even this moment in Eastern Europe and the uh, uh, we know for sure that this is uh, tips from the evil spiritual world uh, that want to kill more of God's children, but uh, we pray for their salvation, we pray for their um, blessing, uh, healing, uh, and prosperity. Dear Heavenly Parents, now is so good time that we live in Messiah and Gaming time, and uh, we could uh, do it uh, more and more as uh, we are build the global peace, uh, united people and organizations. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, I pray for those who join online. Um, I pray for Amos and Gabon and um, or others uh, who usually join in Uganda and, uh, and uh, Africa and, uh, and Asia and in India and uh, also from Korea, um, uh, USA, and America say, dear heavenly parent, uh, now is so precious time and we pray for to mobilize this heavenly world uh, to, to help people to get salvation and blessing. Dear heavenly parent, uh, we pray for ultimate peace by 2027. Uh, this is very difficult task and it is a big vision, but this is not just vision. You have a concrete plan for your children, for all 7 billion plus people who live in now on earth and 300 billion plus soul and spiritual world. All of them, they need salvation and uh, they need salvation from the sin and purify purification. So uh, we pray for um, brother and sister on earth to uh, get more smarter and uh, and stop uh, harming themselves and uh, harming others, dear heavenly parent and harming the, and um, to heal the the people and the nations and the and the planet. Dear heavenly parents, is so good that. You inspire us that uh, in these last days we uh, could uh, join together with you and uh, we could build heavenly kingdom because uh, we are living in the Messiah's incoming time. And uh, you send uh, your representative to the earth uh, um, as a true parents, uh, only begotten son and only begotten daughter. And this time, and uh, we uh, follow them and we read the just now their their words about true love and uh, yes the most important is true love that uh, you are longing for and uh, all the human beings they are longing for true love and uh, we pray for you to give us wisdom how we could do uh, move forward every day every hour every second to build the uh, um, world peace and heavenly parent uh, is so good that um, we could hear you at this meeting and we could meet uh, every day at seven o'clock uh, globally, everybody in their countries, uh, offline and online at seven o'clock uh, African and European time. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, now uh, is so interesting uh, that uh, we um, 
uh, we could hear you and uh, understand you as we are coming to this uh, um, we are uh, we could uh, um, unite together with you and uh, we could uh, understand you and this time as we enter in the new era and the uh, era of direct dominion of god Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, we pray so much for the uh, peace in Eastern Europe uh, as uh, we are one uh, human uh, body with uh, seven billion plus cells. Uh, we're supposed to hear each other, understand each other, feel each other, and uh, surpass all this uh, enemy enmity that uh, is sent from the um, fallen nature and the evil spiritual world. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, yes in the history always was wars but if you inspire us to unite together and do everything together with you and that you show us living god that we could live together with you and understand you understand your love dear heavenly parents we are so happy for this and please unite us all brothers and sisters that we could unite even more and um, uh, finish uh, ultimate global peace building by 2027 and uh, this victory passed to all our descendants dear heavenly parent uh, now is the uh, precious time to move forward and uh, we don't want to stop we want to move forward please uh, um, purify our mind and uh, give us ideas how we could do together dear heavenly parent uh, how we could do it in this second and uh, every hour every second and uh, every day toward 2027 uh, it's just 210 days till uh, uh, the um, opening of, of your sanctuary, uh, 5th May 2023, and we want to unite together with you and uh, work for this, uh, work very hard. And uh, dear Heavenly Parent, please uh, uh, receive this um, uh, day, this prayer, and uh, I bring it as a pure offering this 8th of um, October 2022. Uh, let's accelerate together and do your will. Uh, please receive this short report. I pray in my name as Nikolai Kerbala Center for the family. Adieu. Amen. 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 Yes, thank you very much, brothers and sisters, uh, those who join online and offline. Pray for you. Stay happy, healthy. Yeah, uh, please uh, turn on suggested playlist. There is a suggested playlist, and uh, you could uh, um, turn on this uh, playlist. There is a uh, 200 videos so you could uh, sanctify your place as we are praying in the direct dominion the direct uh, um, presence of god and uh, let's go uh, we have now uh, uh, with the prayer chain invite uh, Sailaja to say a powerful prayer for peace Sailaja, welcome could you say a powerful prayer for peace from india adieu <laughs> amen namaste uh, hi everyone. Hello. Namaste from India. Uh, our uh, prayer is for women empowerment, as I understand, along with bringing about peace. Since yes. I have joined late, I'll keep it a little uh, small only. Typically, what I believe is uh, yes. women are the, the change barriers or the catalyst in, the, in today's world. Earlier, they were. Uh, cocoon to one room and they used to do behind scene work. But today they want to come forefront and take up the responsibility, be at par. They talk about gender equality. They talk about grass ceiling level and many more things which are uh, numerous. But however said and done, the basic of Vedas or the Hindu mythology from where we come in, women uh, are given a shield. They are a sensitive human beings who have far more emotions than man. They're physically less stronger. Let's not talk about uh, learning martial arts or food, uh, doing some extra things and talk. We are at par. Sorry, we are not there. Not all women learn it. By nature, when women was created, she's softer and physically less than any male counterpart. So we need to accept that we cannot physically overpower a man. And always there is a need for a man to shield a woman or protect. 
in an indian environment specifically a woman looks up to man for doing outdoor duties or uh, getting things done from an outsider because she has been groomed and brought up in such a manner the environment was like that but today you you also in urban women also you go about talking they also go out and we talk about lot of uh, harassment which happens at the different levels of working life and coming back commuting and far many things there are lot of things happening in and around when it comes to women if we were gender equal to men then why such harassments why can't we give it back so the reality is we are not at par forget about being equal we are not even closer to the masculinity of a man he is given we cannot over power let us accept that that we are the weaker not when it comes to physical form of our body our body has been designed in such a manner that we are physically less than compared to a male counterpart however when it comes to intellect mind decision making and thinking about the goodness of the family the environment bringing the women are not behind they have the same iq level they have the thinking power they can bring about the change but the balancing part of the family and the work life lies always with the women it's not the man man is not groomed to do both the things he is not brought up like that he is not cultivated like that no matter how much the men try to play a role in getting the children back from school or putting them back to bed however those things but if you leave everything to a man he fails miserably and falls flat when it comes to balancing house and office so these are the two realities about a man and women but we want to what are the change we are talking is if the economy is friendly is conducive for a women to work and add finances to the family why not that is an additional income which should always be welcome so that there is a better future for the the children or offspring or the family as such we can lead a better life but that should not be the key goal of women women should think about the better ways of bettering things around her so if we start doing our housework better or taking care of the neighborhood better or participating in lot many activities that happen in and around in terms of uh, bringing about change in the society locality where we live and give our advices there and then start doing things rather than executing we need to be there in the forefront and start doing that's the women empowerment i would like to talk about where we are blessed with good iq level we are blessed with decision making capacity we are blessed with good education so why not use it and bring about the positivity around rather than making it a issue that i want to go out to 12 to 14 hours like a man and do something greater or something more than a man so let let that there not be a competition with the male counterpart let it begin to bring the goodness around to bring about a change with the education she has gone through with the, with whatever knowledge she has let the thought be to bring a goodness let the thought not be to or uh, just be uh, the financial forerunner for the family then it does it falls flat the way you think women think should change she should think that i want to play a role balance my family and bring about a change add value to the family's income and bring about that's all but i will set in my timelines i need to take care of myself i cannot roam around late night and think i'm gender equal it doesn't happen we need the sooner we realize this and we come back home at 8 hours of our work and we are back home on time before the sun sets so these were the some of the rituals or uh, uh, what do you say these were some of the conditions laid by our forefathers women should be be home before dark she should not uh, roam in certain way the way she dresses or looks they, they, you know these there were some reasons for it it was not to bind a woman or tell her you are lesser than a man or to tell her that uh, you don't do any skin show or anything even sarees what she used to wear was skin show only what we are saying is whatever you wear be confident of what you are wearing carry it yourself but don't copy i should not wear a short skirt because my neighbor is wearing it that's where the problem lies then 
I should wear a short skirt if I feel like wearing it and I'm confident enough to carry. So if that is the change a woman brings in herself, then she can fight with the society, with her family. The moment you go back and tell your mom, Ki mom, I want to wear a short skirt with the neighbor one is wearing, mom will give you one thappad only. Why will she allow you to wear? Because you had no interest of wearing a short skirt. You are copying somebody, don't copy the West. Because India is a rich culture. India has far many uh, cultural rich uh, uh, dress code or uh, the way we think, look at things. So try to trust it, believe in it, understand why they were laid. And there is no right or wrong in what one day. They were taboo days earlier in the 80s and all. Uh, alcohol was a taboo, extramarital were taboo, this was taboo, but no more these taboos exist in India too. But the woman has to be awakened and aroused about it and take a proper decision about her family because whatever she does is going to uh, reflect on her family. So she should be very careful and cautious when she takes a move of going out, working, coming back and balancing out. So she should be well balanced. Sarva guna samarpan, what we say, every guna, every characteristic is very important in a woman and that is always seen with a microscope when it comes to women in the society. So we need to be very, very careful. So I pray to God that he gives some sanity to women to, to think in a positive way rather than copying the West or copying somebody. You want to do something, please do it. But take up the responsibility on yourself. Don't look up to somebody for help. If you are not confident, then don't do it. Because there's no pressure on you. There is nothing you're going to lose. So you should not be copying is my personal belief. No matter how educated I am, how much I am uh, aware of the technology uh, coming from IT background, working with a corporate life, seeing it all, done it all. I know there is no safety for a woman after dawn. You need to be at, uh, at it yourself, alert 24 by 7 till you reach home. So you need to be on in connection with somebody in the family. That is the environment we have today. There is a lot of fear outside. So you, you're you not, so I, maybe I'm personally not too strong to venture out after dark. Alone, I will never venture out because I don't want to take a chance. Not that anything would happen, but why should I? If given a chance, I am uh, blessed to stay at home. Why not? Is my way of looking at things. But at the same time, it doesn't, uh, put me any less because I would be the first one to contribute to the process, to the quality, to the research part, because that all requires mind, technical mind or an analytical mind, which I think God has blessed me with. So I can always work on it, present and do it, everything. So it is all, it is all how we see, we see things and how we portray things or how we balance things. That is what I pray for that women should start relooking the way uh, uh, she's looking today at uh, grass ceiling or gender equality and uh, being at par with uh, men. Let's physically, we cannot beat them. So let us just be uh, acceptable about the fact, but at the same time, uh, gain good education to overpower them. So if we have good education, then we definitely mentally, we can overpower the counterparts and prove up and be more logical when we say things may be operational or uh, egg field work or any type of work. We can do it. All it requires is good uh, technical skill or learning skill or knowledge, which God has given brains to all of us at the same level. So it is on us how we use it. I also pray for the safety, well-being and health on health and wealth and prosperity of all the people who are part of this forum. Amos, Nick, Grace, Arena, and whoever has been there contributing and to my own family and my own health. God, let God give us good health to live a happy life uh, till tomorrow at least because that's when we meet again. So that's what, and I have a better sleep and good uh, thoughts and good well-being for all of us. Thank you so much. Yes, Alaza, thank you very much. You, you vision is so good. The uh, uh, harmony between uh, men and women and cultures and manners and uh, 
all of this is just uh, to keep love relationship just in family. <laughs> this is very good. This is the most important. What uh, people don't uh, care so much yeah, about. Yeah, the yeah, I agree. Typically, to avoid any divorces, the high rate of divorce which is happening today is only the reason because of this women being equal to man, which is not the truth. We need to accept and bring on our divorce rate lesser now. We need to go back to the belief of marriage institution and being uh, uh, far with each other or in yeah, sync yeah, yeah. with each other. You said in your prayers, this uh, woman, when a woman, a counterpart, <laughs> just together. <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, Sailaja, pray for you. Yeah, by this we could finish our meeting and uh, yes, uh, let's meet tomorrow. <laughs> let's invite more people tomorrow to pray for. Bye bye. Yeah, for Ultima Glomatis by Penitentiary, salvation, blessing, and healing. Ah, oh, Irina joined. <laughs> Irina is joining, I think. Yeah, welcome, Irina. <laughs> Erina, are you driving? Should I leave or are you saying something? Sorry, I'm late. I was with children praying for their candidates. You know, you know, exams are starting soon. So I was a bit late. I'm sorry. How is everyone? God bless everyone. Yeah, you please say, say a short prayer, prayer for me. Erina, please yeah, say a short prayer. Thank you, Heavenly for Parents, for today. Thank you, our beloved two parents. Thank you, our beloved Jesus Christ and all the saints and sages for the peace that you've given us and also for making us ready to do peaceful things and do peaceful work. Thank you very much. We are very grateful. May God bless everyone on the forum. Please let's meet tomorrow again for more prayers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Arina. That was so short and sweet. <laughs>